Okay, well, the popular thing nowadays it seems to be is to make a tier list of a different category. I think iDubbbz popularized, started popularizing it with uh, his infamous fast food tier list. Um, I decided to do a tier list on something I'm probably a little more educated in. Uh, I mean, the only fast food chains that actually matter are Taco Bell and Wendy's, and I guess Chipotle too. That's just my personal opinion. Everything else can just kind of just go away. I'm going to be doing three video game series that I've played of most, if not all, games in. Um, I'm going to do Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Kingdom Hearts. And um, yeah, um, before I start, there's timestamps in the description for uh, if you want to if you want to skip a specific tier list because you don't care, or if you want to see what specific tier list, there'll be timestamps of one each one start in the description. Thank you very much. So I've put in an order of release because I feel like that's the best way to do it. Um, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. It's a good game. I like the campaign. I don't. I think they have the DS version as this picture. Like, why is it the DS version? I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give it a solid A. Solid A. World at War. Uh, I can give a shit about. I had like co-op campaign, which was fine, I guess. I played with my friend. It's not really much difference. Uh, the zombies mode had introduced that, I guess, but like the maps weren't like the best. I didn't play like I. I only played that one World at War map, the first one, because the other ones you had to pay for, and I didn't get. The, I didn't play those maps until Black Ops. Uh, I'll probably put it at, like C, because it's not a bad game. It's just when I played the multiplayer, it was all hacked. Like, no one was playing it besides hackers. Modern Warfare 2 is an obvious S tier. Probably the best, one of the best Call of Duties. It's the one I first played, the one that got me into the series. Uh, it, it's just good all around, good campaign, good multiplayer. The special Ops mode is great. Black Ops, to me, is also S tier. It's just close to me. It, it, like, it is basically, for me, the beginning of Zombies, because it's, like, the first time I played Zombies. It has some of the best maps in Zombies. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops is just, just a great game, and I, you know, put that at S. Modern Warfare 3, I, I have no memory of it. I know there was this one game mode, like uh, it's like zombies, but like with actual like terrorists. So like terrorist zombies, uh, which was fun. I think it's the only thing I really cared about. I don't remember anything of that campaign. The multiplayer, I don't remember anything. I remember this one map called Underground, but that's where I played like the terrorist to zombies mode. I forgot what that mode's called. I think it's like survival or something. Uh, I'll just put it at D because like, it's just, I don't care about it at all. Black Ops 2 is great. Not as good as Black Ops, not as good as Modern Warfare 2. I put it at A. Nothing much to it. It has my favorite zombies maps. Like, I like Buried. I like Mob of the Dead. Transit was cool too, even though a lot of people didn't like it. I had fun with it. Call of Duty Ghosts. Put it at D. It's kind of the same thing with Modern Warfare 3. I don't really remember much from it. I don't really care much for it. Uh, I played it. A, I probably played it more than Modern Warfare 3, to be honest. But, um, it just did. It, 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 it kind of started my downfall of, like, these games. Kind of like, I don't really care about these anymore now. They're kind of done. <laughs> Advanced Warfare never played, so that obviously was an F because it wasn't worth my time. Sure, I'm, I'm sure some people will like it. I just gotta say this also. I didn't say this before, but this is my opinion. So like, if you do, if you disagree with me, it's fine. You're allowed to have your own opinion. But if you disagree with me, you're also probably wrong. Black Ops Three. Uh, uh, I I didn't like this game at all. I wouldn't go far as F. I I don't know. The multiplayer was kind of duty. I know I didn't even like the campaign. Oh my god, the campaign was terrible. I'll just put it at D. It's a very low tier D, you know. Infinite Warfare I never played, so that's kind of same deal with Advanced Warfare. Uh, World War II I never played, but like I, I I can appreciate them going back to like World War II, like the roots. But, like then again, I never played it. I didn't hear much about it. I I I think it's just it's. I'll just put it in F because. I guess F is just a column that I just don't never played. You might notice there's no E tier because that's uh, I believe E is not a real letter, so I got rid of that. Black Ops Four was like fine. Blackout Blackout mode was cool. Multiplayer is kind of the same deal with. Oh, did not want to push you there. Multiplayer is kind of the same deal with um with Black Ops Three. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, zombies mode is fine. I didn't have a problem with it. It's just I didn't really. It just didn't really attract me as much as Black Ops or Black Ops 2. I'd probably put it at C, but like, I don't want to leave the B column open, because that's my PTSD. Now I- what, I mean my o, OCD, what the fuck is wrong with me? Probably move up World at War, just by default, I guess. Because like, World at War is like kind of a classic in ways, a lot of ways. Then Black Ops 4 is kind of just like, I'm sure it's- I'm sure it's great things about it, I'm sure people love it. It just didn't do much for me. This is my official list, my official tier list. Call of Duty games in the series. S is MW2 Black Ops. A is Modern Warfare Black Ops 2. B is World of War. C is Black Ops 4. D is MW3 Ghosts and Black Ops 3. Uh, and then F is these three games. They're not Fs because they're bad games. They're just Fs because I, I didn't give a shit enough to try them. Not saying, again, not saying they're bad games. You may love these games. These may be your three favorite Call of Duties of all time. 
Good for you. I'm glad you had. I'm glad you liked them. I didn't want to try them at all. So, ta-da! Next, we have Assassin's Creed, one of my favorite game series of all time. I know it gets a lot of slack because there are there are some shit games inside of here, but that was, there's also some great games. And I can tell, like, I can like I, I've seen Donkey's video. I agree with a lot of his points. There's like a bunch of like following missions and all that stuff that like you can just kind of do away with. But like fucking around as an assassin is just it's just a fun idea, and this game really does it the best. He's this game series. In fact, they included like a bunch of DLC and like side games that I don't get. I've never fucking played or don't give a shit about. So I'm only going to be ranking like this kind of like first part of the column up all the way up to like, I guess I've played Assassin's Creed 3 level or Liberation because I did have a PS Vita. So I'll kind of rank that too. All the way up to Odyssey I'll rank. I will start the first Assassin's Creed. Uh, it gets a solid B. It's a t I mean, it's 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 the beginning, so we got to give it that. But uh, it the game is like, it's kind of boring and repetitive. I never actually beat it. That's also a thing. But it goes B because it's not a bad game. It just gets very repetitive and boring. But it also starts like the, this whole series. Assassin's Creed 2 is an S. It is literally, it, like, this is, like, the beginning. People say Assassin's Creed 2 is the beginning of Assassin's Creed because of, like, how much it evolved from Assassin's Creed 1 and how much, like, better they did with this. Main character is amazing. Tatio, so lovable, so awesome. It is truly the beginning of the series. The reason why we have an Assassin's Creed. If there was no Assassin's Creed 2 or Assassin's Creed 2 wasn't as good as, as it was, there would be no Assassin's Creed series. Or it wouldn't have gone on for this long. Moving on, we got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Uh, this is definitely an S tier as well. It is probably one of my favorites, if not my favorite Assassin's Creed. You get to fucking get a bunch of team assassins, and like there's a point where you, if you have enough assassins, you can freaking call them on a guy, and there's like this random guard that's on a rooftop has just has a swarm of fucking people stabbing him. It's pretty sick. It's awesome. I liked all the side missions where you have to like burn, I think you have to burn towers or something. Uh, that kind of becomes a staple. I, th I don't know if they have it in Assassin's Creed 2. I just kind of remember it from Brotherhood. It's just a really good game, and I like the stories. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood's a solid game. Uh, Revelations. Uh, I know you make bombs in it, which is cool, I guess. Probably just put it at B. I don't remember much. I know he's old. That's yo. I know Altair shows up. I think the greatest thing about this game was Tobuscus's, uh literal trailer about the, the trailer it, to it. Probably the best thing about the game. It's the most I remember from it. It, I mean, I'm sure it was a good game. I, again, I, I really have no work. I have only played it once. Like these two, I've played Assassin's Creed 2 a bunch of times, played Brotherhood a couple times, played Assassin's Creed 1 recently. I just, I haven't touched this game in like, since the first time I played it back in like, when I was 12 or whenever, the, whenever it came out. Assassin's Creed 3 is like the first Assassin's Creed game from when I started the series, I guess besides the first one, where I just kind of just stopped playing it. Like I, I stopped playing it. Like before he even came an assassin, because I just I don't I just kind of I guess I got bored of it. I just didn't like playing it, so I kind of stopped playing it. I didn't I didn't beat it until they announced Black Flag. I watched a streamer play through it, and God, that game is terrible. I'm not lying. Assassin's Creed Three may be the worst one. I might put Assassin's Creed Three as F. I think I'm putting it as D because it wasn't as bad. I don't think I wouldn't call Assassin's Creed Three an F tier, but like it's definitely D because like. Connor was like watching that streamer play through it. I don't know if it was because he hated the game or if like it, it over, the game was just, just bad in general. But like Connor is just like such a bitch. And like you play like half the game as his father or like of the beginning part of the game as his father. But that goes on for way too long. And then Connor kind of just like kind of whines a lot. Uh, like, I like I like the setting. The setting is probably the best part. It's probably why it's a D tier. But that game just garbage. Let's be real. Like, I, I'm sh if you love Assassin's Creed 3, yeah, good for you. You found something good and something terrible. Uh, Liberation, uh, D as well. I guess it's like a PS Vita game. I had a PS Vita, it was like one of the only games I had on it. I didn't hate it, I didn't love it. I'll probably never play it again. I'll probably forget about it in like a year. I only remember it because it was here. I totally forgot this game existed. Black Flag, S tier. It is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if the placement of the row matters. I guess I'll put it like this for sure. Black Flag is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. I fucking love pirates. Pirates are like my favorite game type. I don't know. I guess pirates are like my favorite theme. I should say not game type. I don't know what the fuck pirate game mode. What does that mean? I love the ship combat. I know I normally didn't don't like ship stuff. But like Black Flag, I just, I just fucking loved it. The main character is cool because he's not an assassin. He kind of just kills one and takes his costume for a while, but then he becomes one. 
which that's true character development right there. It's probably my favorite assassin, like maybe below Ezio. Ezio, like you can't really touch Ezio. He's too like good. I just loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Assassin's Creed Rogue, um, A. It's a good game. It's really short, but it's really just a copy and paste of uh, Black Flag. It's it's basically the same game, just a different character. He plays like a Templar this time, which like I really enjoyed that. You got to see like the other side. Like, ooh, Templars, they're, they can be good, I guess. Even though not really, they kind of suck. They also showed, oh, assassins can be bad. There's like two views to this. But like, again, it's just, it's basically, it's just Black Flag. But Black Flag was so good that like, you can just copy the game and it would be really good. It was just too short. Rogue was just too short. It should have been a lot longer. I think it was only like six sequences or like nine, six or nine. The ending is great because it leads into this next one. This next pick, Assassin's Creed Unity, which gets a C. A lot of people would say, oh, Unity is the worst one. Unity. It's probably the reason they started redoing the whole uh, Assassin's Creed model with Origins. But um, I, it was it was really buggy when I first I got a day one. I can, I actually have a whole let's play on my fucking channel of this game for some reason. But I didn't hate it. It was just it was just really buggy. But like I could look past a lot of those bugs. The assassin I forgot his name is like asshole or something. He was fine, in my opinion. The co-op was great. There wasn't much to it, but like, I have some videos on my channel, but like, the co-op was pretty good. Yeah, the setting's really good in Unity. Like, I don't mind it. It's just a big city. It's kind of like, it kind of gives like Assassin's Creed 2 vibes. It just wasn't a great game. It wasn't a terrible game. It was just fine. Just the bugs really put it down and made people shit on it a lot. But it was, I see Unity is actually also a good thing because it's also the reason they started re, like, like I said, they started redoing the model for Assassin's Creed games. So without Unity, I feel like we wouldn't have the origins or odysseys of today. So, oh, Syndicate, I don't even know what to do with you. C. Nah, Syndicate, Syndicate's a good game. You get to play as two twins. It was a good jump from freaking Unity though. Like Syndicate's better, it's a better game than Unity. But it's not really like, doesn't do anything special. Yeah, you get a zip line. I'll put it B, I'll put it above Revelations. Feel bad, I have nothing in F. I feel like nothing, something needs an F. We'll put DS Assassin's Creed in F. I don't know, I, why is there an DS Assassin's Creed? Who the fuck knows? Origins, B. I'll put it above Syndicate. It reworked the whole freaking model of Assassin's Creed. It's a completely different game. It's a great game. You go, there's like a, it's a big map, but like most of it's like a desert, which is kind of duh, dull, which is why it's not like an A. But it's a fun game. Comet's great. Odyssey is kind of a weird ranking for me because I haven't beat it yet. I really want to because I really like Greek mythology and they delve into that a little bit in this as far as I know. But if I had to rank it based on what I've played, I'd probably put it I'd probably put it in A. Odyssey, as far as I know, it's a good game. I haven't had a trouble problem with it. So this is my ranking, my official ranking. I don't I don't think I've played any of these um, like uh, DLC. I may, I think I did like a DLC for Unity, but I don't even see that. Oh, here it is. Dead Kings. Put that at F2, because I don't. I remember playing, because they gave it out for free because the game was so shit. Like it was just in a shit state. They gave the DLC out for free, so I was like, oh, I'll play some more. I don't really remember. I think you go into a sewer at one point, which is kind of disgusting. There it goes. The official Assassin's Creed tier list for me. Moving on to Kingdom Hearts. Now, Kingdom Hearts, uh, Union Cross. Automatic F. No one wants to play your shitty mobile game. I only really played it, really played it for the story, but you don't get story until like mission like a thousand and seven. So it gets an F because I don't want it to exist actually at all. Kingdom Hearts S. Some of you may not say it's an S, but I say it's an S because well, it's what made me fall in love with the series and it's special in my heart. And if I were to ever like like if I had to like choose in like twenty years or something, I haven't played Assassin's Creed. Uh, Fuck it. I mean, we moved on from Assassin's Creed. Kingdom Hearts for like 20 years. Be like, what Kingdom Hearts game do you want to play after 20 years of not playing Kingdom Hearts? I would probably say one because it's just so nostalgic feeling. It, even though the combat has evolved immensely, the game's still fun as hell. It's a great game. Beating that game as a young 13 year old boy, finally like seeing the end, seeing what happens. I, I, I And I heard the song go off and I'm like, wow, this is beautiful. Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories is a piece of garbage. I'll put it at D. Kingdom Hearts 2 has an S. I'll put it below, right below Kingdom Hearts 1. You beat all the Disney worlds once, and then you gotta beat them again. And they're really not fun the second time. Like, the first time you're like, oh, you're exploring stuff. But the second time you're kind of back, and you're like, what the fuck am I doing here? The ending of the game is probably, like, the greatest. Like, the, the last world and, like, the ending with Riku. It's phenomenal. Uh, 358 over two days. I heard a lot of bad things about this game. 
I'm just gonna put it a D. I wouldn't put, I guess, I guess I'll do the same as I did with Call of Duty. I'll just put it an F because I never played it. Birth by Sleep, solid A. Yeah, no. B. It was a tricky one. Uh, it was fun, but then you like, you gotta do it three times. Like, there's three characters, but like, there's really nothing with each, nothing really too different with each story. Just different cutscenes. But like, the, the areas are pretty much the same, the, and the, all the worlds are the same. Like, there's like some cutscenes that overlap, so you'll see like the same cutscene like three times. And you're like, I got it. Thank you. So I'll, I'll put it at B. Recoded, never played. I watched the cut- oh yeah, I should probably rate these on cutscene movies then, because I have seen and watched all the cutscenes. If that's the case, if I were to rate 358 over two days, basically, purely based on cutscenes, I would put it on C. But Recode gets uh, F for everything. I never played it, but it gets an F for everything. Dream Drop Distance? I don't fucking know. I don't even, I don't even remember this game, really. Get, like, pets. The worlds were cool. Some really good worlds. I'll put it- I'll just put it at B, right below Birth by Sleep. Zero point- is this like the little fucking mini game they had? Why is this here? This is like, this is like the demo for Kingdom Hearts 3, basically. It was fine, I guess. I would like, what the fuck? Why am I rating this with all the games? I would, I would probably just put it at B, I guess. Put it below Dream Dog Distance. Because it's it's not really a game. Uh, and then the A slot goes to Kingdom Hearts 3. It wasn't the, it's not the best in this like trilogy, I guess. Like the gameplay is great. The worlds are amazing. But like, it's like, if it's supposed to be the conclusion of this trilogy, the specific trilogy, or like a conclusion basically of all these fucking games. And it didn't just didn't feel like satisfying at all. Like, you know, did you ever, you guys see Endgame? Like, that was a satisfying conclusion to like a story. This I felt like, like, I was kind of bullshit out of, shitted out of. Like, spoiler alert, I guess, but like the bad guy goes like, you know, you beat me, so I'm gonna just die and be good though. I'm gonna die with more camel in my hands. And then like Sora, like get, like I guess he got like I guess he got snapped or something like he dissolves for some reason. But um, it's 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 not S tier definitely. It's just kind of just A. Just A. This is my official Kingdom Hearts series ranking. If you guys want to see me rank like any other video game series or movies or books, TV shows or whatever, just let me know. Let me know your rankings if you care at all. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys. See you guys next time. Bye.